Why do supervolcanoes threaten humanity? For the possibility of a super explosion, a super eruption happening sooner than expected, of a volcano capable of returning human civilization to the age of caves, warned British scientists on the occasion of the recent activation of the Agung volcano in Bali. And these particular volcanic eruptions pose a risk to humanity comparable to that of an asteroid impact on our Earth, while these two causes are considered the main ones that have caused mass extinctions of species from our planet in the past. The supervolcanoes, if there is a serious danger to humanity from a super eruption of a conventional volcano, there is no need to describe what will happen in the event that a so-called supervolcano or supervolcano erupts the explosions of which are hundreds or even thousands of times more powerful than those of other volcanoes. The prevailing theory states that the time interval from the moment the, process, uh, the processes of formation of a supervolcano begin until the moment it erupts for the first time is less than 200,000 years. However, according to a recent study, the development and explosion of a supervolcano can take place within just a few hundred years. Supervolcano eruptions eject gigantic amounts of volcanic material. Such eruptions in the past have caused terrible devastation, not just locally. Supervolcanic eruptions are capable of changing the climate globally, and their effects can be painful over a long period of time for many species of flora and fauna. The eruption of the Toba volcano in Sumatra, Indonesia, 74,000 years ago, released 2,500 cubic kilometers of magma, a volume almost twice as much uh, as that of uh, Mount Everest, and that is believed to have been the largest eruption in 2 million years. The destruction it caused was cataclysmic, and many experts estimate that it almost led to the extinction of the human species. The threat to Europe? The large Campi Flegri volcano, very close to Naples, Italy, is closer to an eruption than previously estimated. Rather worried geolog geologists warn, the flagrant fields, 13 kilometers west of Mount Vesuvius, cover a vast area of more than 100 square kilometers outside the western suburbs of Naples. The supervolcano is in the form of a giant caldera, 13 kilometers in diameter, that's a guba of the ground due to substance instead of the usual cone above the ground. Most of the volcano is underwater and includes 24 craters. The flagrant fields, according to Roman mythology, were the residence of the fire god Vulcan and there was an entrance to the underground, while according to Greek mythology, Hercules killed the giants there. In modern times, the flagrant fields have been active for 67 years, according to having occasionally erupted in 1950s, 1970s, and 1980s, caused small local earthquakes and uplift of the ground surfaces. I said eruption, sorry, earthquakes and ground inflation. The volcano had shown similar mobility about 500 years ago, which lasted almost a century until it erupted in 1538 creating a volcanic cone, Monte Novo, New Mountain. Researchers from University College London, UCL, and the Vesuvius Observatory in Naples used a new model to analyze the data and predict. The study concluded that continued volcanic activity since the 1950s had been building up energy and making a future eruption increasingly likely. The most famous supervolcano in the world is Yellowstone. It's one of the largest supervolcanoes on the planet, capable of burying much of North America under ash. The second magma chamber was recently discovered beneath the Yellowstone caldera with enough material to fill the Grand Canyon 11 times over. Yellowstone, shared between the uh, states of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, is best known as a national park there is home to, uh, that is home to uh, over uh, 10,000, uh, well, 10,000 geothermal areas and it's got 60% of the world's geysers. 
It also has acid lakes and other wond wondrous geological uh, formations. Now, a hidden giant, the team of researchers has discovered a giant underwater volcano that lies beneath the floor of the northern Pacific Ocean, Tamu Massif, as the volcano is named. It has a diameter of 650 kilometers and an area of 25 kilometers larger than that of Mount Mons on Mars, which is the largest volcano in our solar system. So this is even larger than that. However, Tamu Massif is relatively short for its size since its height reaches 4 kilometers and the highest peak of Olympus Mons exceeding 25 kilometers. The discovery was made by researchers from the University of Houston in the U.S., led by Professor of Geology William Sager, who investigated an undersea mountain range located 1,500 kilometers east of Japan. The top of the Tamu Massif is two kilometers below the seabed. The researchers even speculate that the volcano never emerged even by a few meters above the water. They estimate that the last time it erupted was about 140 to 145 million years ago during the Cretaceous period when the dinosaurs reigned and has remained dormant ever since that time. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I highly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.